Concerns run deep regarding the influence of relativism on both social unity and moral discernment. But what about the hard things, the places where we are prone to disagreement, say politics and religion? Well, as it turns out, not only does Wikipedia's model work there, it actually works really well. Because in our normal lives, these contentious conversations tend to erupt over disagreement about what the truth actually is. But the people who write these articles, they're not focused on the truth. They're focused on something else, which is the best of what we can know right now. And after seven years of working with these brilliant folks, I've come to believe that they are onto something. That perhaps for our most tricky disagreements, seeking the truth and seeking to convince others of the truth might not be the right place to start. In fact, our reverence for the truth might be a distraction that's getting in the way of finding common ground and getting things done. Now, that is not to say that the truth doesn't exist, nor is it to say that the truth isn't important. Clearly, the search for the truth has led us to do great things, to learn great things. But I think if I were to really ask you to think about this, one of the things that we could all acknowledge is that part of the reason we have such glorious chronicles to the human experience and all forms of culture is because we acknowledge there are many different truths. And so in the spirit of that, I'm certain that the truth exists for you and probably for the person sitting next to you. But this may not be the same truth. This is because the truth of the matter is very often for many people what happens when we merge facts about the world with our beliefs about the world. So we all have different truths. They're based on things like where we come from, how we were raised, and how other people perceive us. Catherine Maher's commentary signals a broader societal shift towards moral and epistemological relativism, where the concept of objective truth is sidelined in favor of subjective interpretation. This trend sparks concerns about the erosion of shared values and the potential emergence of moral nihilism, blurring the lines between subjective experiences and objective realities. Recognizing the multitude of human perspectives is imperative coupled with an exploration of profound questions surrounding meaning, authenticity, and accountability. Even amidst the plurality of subjective truths, a deep examination of truth's essence within human existence remains essential. Critiques of Catherine Maher's pursuit of truth as a distraction argue for epistemological humility and open dialogue as indispensable tools for navigating complex issues and resolving disputes. Advocating for a renewed commitment to truth as a catalyst for constructive discourse and societal advancement, it underscores the necessity of humility in confronting the ambiguities and uncertainties inherent in human existence. Embracing uncertainty can foster empathy, compassion, and genuine engagement with others, even amid conflicting truths. The ethical obligations of dialogue and mutual understanding in a Diverse society are nuanced, demanding careful consideration. Maher's perspective is viewed as emblematic of a widespread cultural shift towards postmodernism and moral relativism, exacerbating social divisions and moral perplexity. Emphasizing the importance of cultural reform and moral clarity, it underscores the need for holistic approaches in addressing contemporary challenges.